Hello there, everybody. I'd like to introduce today the N950 that I received yesterday from Nokia. From Nokia Dubai, and I would like to say first thank you for Nokia Dubai. And thank you for Ahmed and Parvin who gave me this opportunity to use this device. This is a development device only, and we, uh, I would like to clarify something here that's leaked mostly on the internet. This device has 16 GB memory and it has in the back this one is just an 8 megapixel fixed focus camera. It's just like the camera that's available on the E6 I think and it's very similar to this. It's not a 12 megapixel camera. Maybe there was in the beginning there was devices that used a 12 megapixel camera but now this one is only 8 megapixel fixed focus. Just in case you don't know, this device is not in sale anywhere in the world, and it's just a developer device. So seeing the face focus camera, it's it's only on N950. It's not in the N9. In the N9 get the 8 megapixel Carl Caesar's camera. I'm sorry if I'm spelling anything wrong. Or I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, because English is my first language. Uh, this is only a developer device, as you see. The N9 will have uh, some differences. Uh, it will not have the hardware QWERTY, for example, that this device has. It will not have. Uh, uh, it will have uh, NFC near field communication, which is not available in this device. It will. Uh, the the camera will be much better. It will not be fixed focus, and it will come into option 16 and 64 GB. And unlike this device, it is only 16 GB. Here we have the connections on this device, the USB and the 3.5mm jack for audio and this is the power button and it's used as a lock button and the down we have nothing, just uh, this one is, uh, I think it's the microphone here and that's it, we have nothing in the device, we have a hardware QWERTY if you want to see it, this is the hardware QWERTY on the device here is the hardware QWERTY it just come with one language because it's just and for developers so it doesn't come with any other language as I see it's not an album but you can type in anything this is the OS itself let me, let me look at this as you see there is no buttons it's, this is all touch device this is the new MIGO operating system that I will show you mostly I will not talk about the hardware I will talk about the operating system itself this is Hamilton OS on this device MIGO 1.2 and uh, we will start. If you want to start, you can. You don't have any hardware buttons. So to unlock the phone, you have the option in the setting menu. You just maybe you can click this button, but you can just double click the device. Let me look the phone. You just double click it, and you see the device. You swipe for left, and you see everything. Here is the swipe operating system here. Works as accepted. You have this multitasking. Uh, the multitasking menu here. And I have some several applications open, and you swipe it from from the edge of the screen. And uh, you have uh, this is my Facebook page actually, and you can have here. It's not available now; it's in beta stages. But you will have Twitter, Flickr, I saw, and uh, many other social services as as you can as long as you can have the RSS feeds here. You see, this is the all the flicker. You swipe it from the edge of the screen. You see the menu and the, all the applications available on this device. And here you have the multitasking. Let's first start with the menu, with the first application. This is the phone application where you can make calls. This one is now without a SIM card, so I'm sorry for this. We can't try this feature now. Here you can see the contacts. I don't have any contacts on this phone yet. And here you can see all the open applications you can always for example pinch to zoom let's pinch to zoom and you see it four applications at a time you can always this is a little hack that is available on big forum that can make the device change orientation the home screen basically because the all the device can change only the home screen and this is all the applications you have open you just now let's see, we have here the search, we don't go, I don't want to go over this, I have here the web browser for example. You can see all the pages that is most interesting to you, for example, this is all the pages that is interesting. I'm logging in and 
can see them in large size or you can just make this swipe and now I have English language for example let's type uh, ovi.com now we're going to ovi.com clicking enter and the page is loading you can see the loading indicator here and the page has already loaded You can see here is the page to zoom. The swiping is wonderful, even though this is not the final browser, I'm sure, because it doesn't have SSL. It have said SSL incompatibility. This is the browser, basically. Let's go, for example, to this visit GSM Arena, for example. And I have this site. You just click it and to take us now to jsmarina.com for example double clicking let you zoom can pinch and zoom as much as you want pinch zoom out you can open a new page by clicking this now open a new window or open you a new page for example let's get ovi.com and now for example we can see this we have all the windows open separately and live on the task twister. So we have this window and this window. You just hold and click, close this window, close this window. Now it's closed. Let's close all the applications by clicking close all. And then we can click all the applications. You just swipe it from the edge of the screen to go to the next page. This is the Facebook and Twitter page. This is the, basically this is messages. This is the mail client. Let's see me open it. This is my email, for example. We have a lot of emails here. We have, this is one email that is open already. Got back. This is all the emails I have. For example, let me open this uh, email or the reminder. This is the email that I have. This is my hotmail, for example. And you can see the email. You can select text. You can do just anything you want. You can wait to zoom. Let me get into the application. So now we don't need it. This is just the email client. It's just, just a normal client. It supports uh, mail for exchange, hotmail, yahoo, most popular, like any regular email client. This is the calendar here. We don't want to go over it, but it's, let's just have a fast look on it. It's the calendar like this, or you can make it, I think, like this. You can change them on this. May, July, and you go from the edge of the screen and you are now back to the menu. Let's have this is now we have on the calendar this is the clock, this is the camera. Let's see the camera interface. This is it for example if you want to take its uh, focus for, for anywhere you can take it like this and press here, I got and press here, I have a focus here, press here, I have a focus here. And this is just my pictures. And go back. You click on this. You go to the setting. This is basically the setting in the camera application. Let me zoom a little bit. This you have white balance exposure. You can change the ISO. You can change the aspect ratio. The photo size. Timer, capture name, you can have your own. You, you can use GBS, turn this feature on or off so you can use GBS to record your, uh, your photo location. This is all the things you have automatic, macro, landscape, portrait. I think this features work best with the N9 itself because this one has a, doesn't have the car this camera that the N9, the commercial version of this one, will have. So, so you close the application, you just go from the edge of the screen. And you have the application closed, and you go. You see the camera is standby. This is now. Let's get back to the menu, and let's see. For example, we have this is the gallery we have now here. Let me fix it just for a minute. Let me open the gallery application. This is the gallery application. 
all the photos. It's just a regular application. You can choose here the collection. If you have more than one collection, you can capture my videos as an image favorites and those stuff. You can, of course, choose any photo. Go left, go right. Pinch to zoom. Yeah, it works. It's for best this here. The touch is very nice. And it's just a basic image browser. There is also an option for editing. It's just like a Symbian phone. The editing on Symbian phones. You just swap in, you go back. This is the Maps application. This is the map. Just wait a minute. Yeah, this is it. You can pitch the zoom. You really want you can download you can download maps manually you can try man you can click this there's many options here you can take 3d mode public transfer night mode satellite turn and then on map you just set the location by clicking on this button and you have here the old position and the new position to position and you can try you can listen voice guided navigation here we have many places I have uh, recorded as uh, favorites and other things. And you can directly use the Drive application to go on Drive. This is accounts. You can add accounts like Nokia accounts, emails, Facebook. This all can be done here. This is the calculator, documents, feeds, notes, widgets, strikes. This is the Obi store. It's still not available. You can see it's not available. Let me show you. Something here, like uh, let's just try to write something here. We have some test programs. I, I just think these are all just for developing purpose to not be available in the real form, but just to show you some how to text. How we can select text or. Is it text input? For example, we have here multi line text. Let me close this. Yes, we have here multi line text, and you can always do this. Yeah, just like this. You can zoom. You see? Just like the, I think the iPhone feature. Basically, these applications at the bottom are just for development purpose. So, I think most of you don't care about this. If you want to check, this is the Drive application, for example. It's just looking for GPS. You can click here and set your destination, and you can go back to all the open applications you can pitch the zoom again to see more. basically this one has one gig of RAM so I think you'll have no problem multitasking more than 20 applications this is the setting page basically let me show you the settings this, all of these things are just in beta status so nothing is confirmed we think that many many of these things might change or there might be many new features. This is reset about products, sign and backup, security, notifications, applications. Here, applications you can change. You can change the application if you like. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Here we have the. Let me show you the video player here. Movie application. Movie. Where is it? Let's see. And let's see how many videos we have. I think this one uh, just working. Maybe in landscape. I don't know. Let me show you this video. They have recorded here, for example.
Let me just start it from the beginning. You see? Now we can just go back to your video or your multitasking and press the play button. In the video Most of us would agree that a tiger. It's one of the world's most beautiful creatures. Sadly, in the wild, it's threatened with extinction. But fortunately, it breeds very well. In